President Trump welcomes a new chief of staff today. General John Kelly, who stepped down as Homeland Security Secretary, replaces Reince Priebus. Correspondent Weijia Zhang reports on the latest move in a string of White House shakeups. If it's possible, an even better. President Trump gave General John Kelly his full vote of confidence moments after he Thank swore you. in his former head of Homeland Security as his new chief of staff. I want to congratulate you on having done a fantastic job, General, and we look forward to. Uh, if it's possible, an even better job. The retired four-star general replaces Reince Priebus, who left Friday after he was the target of a vulgar tirade by President Trump's new communications director, Anthony Scaramucci. I predict that uh, General Kelly will go down in terms of the position of chief of staff, one of the great ever. After the swearing-in, General Kelly participated in the president's cabinet meeting. Many see Kelly's appointment as an opportunity to restore order to a warring West Wing. I think the president wants to go a different direction, wants a little bit more discipline. The president denies there's any turmoil, tweeting this morning, highest stock market ever, best economic numbers in years, no White House chaos. General Kelly's job will be to help get the president's agenda back on track. At the top of the president's list is health care. The president continues to put pressure on lawmakers after the GOP effort to repeal Obamacare fell short in the Senate. The president tweeted this morning, if Obamacare is hurting people, and it is, why shouldn't it hurt the insurance companies? Monday's tweets indicate one thing that won't change under General Kelly, the president's social media habits. In Washington, Weijia Jiang for CBS3 Eyewitness News.